When you see the word simplify, that means that they want you to put the fractions into their lowest terms, uh, the smallest numbers that they can be, and no fractions where the head is bigger than the butt. So here we have our first example, and both of these are different, so you're going to want to watch this whole video. 6 and 19 fourths, we have the head bigger than the butt right here, so this is a division problem that we see. Always pay attention, is the top number larger than the bottom number? If it is, you're going to do it this way. If it's not, you're going to do it this other way down here. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy over the 6 over here. That's how you show your work on these. Then I'm going to write plus whatever this fraction is equal to. Well, it's a division problem, so 19 divided by 4 is equal to 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Remainder 3, 4 and 3 fourths. When I add 6 plus 4 and 3 fourths, I get 10 and 3 fourths. This is how you have to show your work on these types of problems. Okay, now in this one here, this is not a division problem because 4 is not larger than 10. This is a fraction that can be reduced, so I'm going to divide both of these by the greatest common factor. The largest number I can divide both 4 and 10 by is 2, so my answer is 2, and then to divide 4 by 2 is 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5. This is simplified because it's 2 and 2 fifths instead of 2 and 4 tenths. 